Hello there guys, okay, today we are going to be showing you three ways to connect your wallet to MetaMask and this will help you uh, make a swap on Uniswap. Now, this is going to be whether you've got a crypto DeFi wallet, Coinbase wallet or Binance wallet. So, here we go. We're going to click on the wallet on Uniswap, change wallet, and then we're going to click on wallet connect. Now over to the mobile phone, open up crypto.com DeFi wallet, enter your PIN number. I do have a second authentication on mine, so input my PIN number, and then on the top right hand side you've got a square box. Click that and this will open up your QR code. Recording. Okay, there, guys. So we've just done the swap um, on Crypto.com DeFi wallets. So we basically connect connected the DeFi wallet to Wallet Connect, and then you simply choose your Ethereum, and swap it into a token, and that will qualify you for the Uniswap airdrop. So I'm just going to connect my MetaMask wallet. MetaMask. It really is as simple as this. There you go, my wallet is connected, you can see some ETH in there. And then I simply swap again some ETH over to another token. Now right now I use Koval because Koval is making a lot of money at the moment. And look how many tokens you can get for just 0 0.01 ETH. So for 1300 tokens on Koval. And as you can see I've got a, a healthy balance right there. So there. You can just simply swap. Obviously, you'll be charged Ethereum. Now, I tend to tell people to um, have about fifty pounds available. Now, majority of this will be swallowed up by the gas fee, and the gas fees are around twenty-five to thirty pounds right now. But if you think of it, that is irrelevant because the money that you get back from doing the airdrop could potentially rise above one thousand pounds. Obviously, if this is in dollars, you're looking at swapping about sixty-five to seventy dollars. 50% of that will be your gas fee, 50% will go towards your token. But simply, if the reward is $1,000, $1,500, then this is worth it. Okay, so those two ways to connect your wallet to, to Uniswap. And like I say, you simply swap your Ethereum balance over to another token. Now, I tend to use Holo Token and Koval for these swaps because they're the most lucrative on your investment. Now, when the when the airdrop has been announced, you will have to claim your uni. So again, you go to app.uniswap.org. You click on these three buttons down here and you can claim uni. You click on claim uni and you will see your uni balance here. Now, I don't know if this is going to be 400 uni like it was last year. If it is, we're looking at £6,000 to £7,000 right now. I don't think it's going to be 400 I think it's going to be closer to 50 uni. But when this is when this has been announced, you simply claim uni. You click that button, close, and your uni balance will show up here. Then obviously that can be swapped out, or you can just let it mature in your portfolio. Okay, so for all of you Binance lovers out there, you need Binance Smart Chain, which you can find on this particular website. You can also Google Binance Smart Chain, and it will take you to Binance Chain Wallet. Click on the link, and you'll need to add an extension to your Chrome. Once you've got the, connect, the extension, top right hand side you'll have a black box, which is the Binance logo. This will take you into a MetaMask style extension. Now, assuming the fact that you don't have a wallet already, you could import your current wallet or you can set up a new wallet. So for the purpose of the video, I'm going to set up a new wallet. I'll put in a personal password to me. It will show the seed phrase on the screen as you click this. I've actually covered mine up. Write down your seed phrase, but for the purpose of the video, I've just put them into a notepad so that I can copy and paste them back over to the extension a bit later on in the video. Okay, seed phrase. Again, just copying this over to notepad. Do not save this anywhere on your computer, guys. 
your computer is attached to the internet. Okay, so there's your wallet. That's created a new wallet address for you. Now, you can link this to your Binance account. So you'll have a Binance account already, I assume, where you've traded Ethereum or Bitcoin. So you can click on Wallet Direct, and this will take you back to the Binance website where you can log in and attach your wallet address. So it takes you directly into this link to verify, and you can add the address. You'll see shortly below that there will be a connected address. And once that's done, I'll show you how to connect that via MetaMask. So once you've got your 12 seed phrase, 12 word seed phrase, you can lock your MetaMask so that you exit from all of your current wallets, like earlier in the video, where I connected Coinbase, so I'm always logged in this Coinbase. You can lock it and exit. So connect your browser extension. Connect. They have to sign this just to say you agree. Uh, it's uh, like an IPS sign signatory. It doesn't cost you anybody to do this or any crypto. Okay, just sign, confirm, successful. And you've got standard Google authentication and it sends you an email with a, a password. So you're all connected on your Binance Smart Chain and Wallet Direct. You have a wallet address. Every time you have an interaction on your wallet, your funds will actually show in Binance. So if you click on Wallet and Binance, your funds will be available on the website and on the extension. So we're going to head over to MetaMask. We need to add a custom RPC. Binance, so Binance has its own network like Ethereum, just to make sure everything is crossed and dotted. Okay, this particular website I found was in Spanish, but there you go. What we're going to do is I'll, I'll put the link to this website in the description. All we're doing is copying over the RPC credentials into Notepad. This is just to make it easier to copy and paste over to MetaMask. So all the instructions are on this particular web link as well, web address. So I'm just going to copy these over. Paste to Notepad. Head over to MetaMask. Custom RPC. And then just paste the details into that. Save. Now you have the Binance Smart Chain on your MetaMask. So you've got the Ethereum mainnet, now you've got Smart Chain. There we go. Just going to add the Uniswap token. Save. So obviously once you've got the claim, your uni balance will show there too. Back to the Ethereum mainnet. And there you can see Smart Chain in your custom IPC. Now we're going to click on the thumbnail, lock the account, and this will exit all of your currents. So for instance, this was Coinbase for me. And then I'm going to import my new account, which is the 12 word C phrase. And this was from Binance Smart Chain. Paste that in, new password, and then I'm just going to cross check just so that you can see that the wallet on Binance is the same wallet address in the extension and the same wallet address in MetaMask. Just looking at the first four or five characters and the last four or five characters. Over to the extension. There you go, just same details. So MetaMask, connect wallet. 
connect wallet with MetaMask. And again, you've got the wallet address on the screen. There you go. Now you can swap ETH over to Koval or ETH over to Holotech. Again, links in description. And then just double check in Wallet Direct. There you go. All connected. Well, guys, hope that's been insightful. Pop a comment in the uh, section below to say that you like this type of video and I'll do more airdrops. Now, if you ever want to double check your wallet, if you go to Binance, you'll have a new tab called Wallet Direct. You just click on that. Wait for it to connect. And there you go. Shows your wallet address. Look forward to seeing you in the next video. Take care. Bye bye.